When I first started making oh. artwork, whether it was 2D art or even 3D art, I always had a voice in my head saying, Thomas, are you allowed to do X? So for example, Thomas, are you allowed to take a 3D model and trace over it in your 2D game? Or are you allowed to take a photograph of something and trace over or use it even as a reference image? Believe it or not, these kind of rules are really gonna stunt you when you're creating your artwork. So that brings me to my first tip, and that is break some rules. So this obviously doesn't mean break laws, right? So if you're gonna use concept art or 3D art as a reference image for your own artwork, you wanna make sure that you either buy the license, hire somebody, or just credit the person if you need to using an attribution license. In this time lapse here, I'm actually creating a chain gun concept art that I'm then going to send to my 3D modeler, Felipe. You'll meet him in a second. And he's gonna create that 3D artwork and then we're gonna throw it into my first person shooter, Father. By the way guys, there's a free game kit. You can use this to create a 2D game. I use this game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days. So be sure to click below, open in a new tab, download that, use it however you want. I really don't care, it's my treat to you. You don't need to be super talented to create some 2D artwork and make it look beautiful. Instead, you can just use reference images. That's totally fine. I do it for protagonists in my 2D art. And also when I'm creating concept art or illustrations, I do the same thing. I just use reference images. Believe it or not, Norman Rockwell did this for his illustrations. He would actually photograph the scene and then trace over that scene or even just use it as a reference for his illustrations and his paintings. My second tip actually is inspired by David Lynch. David Lynch is one of my favorite filmmakers. If you ever watch any of his films, whether it's Eraserhead or Mulholland Drive or Twin Peaks, what you'll realize is that every single sequence, every shot looks unique. I wanna use that same mindset when I'm creating my artwork for my games. I want my players to think, I have never seen something like that in my entire life. There are thousands of games released every year on Steam, and you wanna make sure that your game stands out, especially as an indie game. You can't make your game look hyper-realistic. You can't really compete with AAA games. So the way you compete with all these games is you try and make everything in your game look special and unique. What I'm doing for my artwork here is I'm making this chain gun look a little bit different than a normal chain gun. The trick is to find something that's normal and then add a twist, right? So I've got a chain gun here, but I've also made the front of the chain gun really, really big, massive, and fat, and also short. I don't think I've ever seen a chain gun that looks like this, so that's what's making it look very unique. And I'm applying this principle to all of the guns and the artwork in my game, Father. All right, guys, I'm in South Carolina. I'm gonna take this concept art and I'm gonna throw it over to Felipe in Canada. And he is going to take a look at this art and see if he can make it into a 3D model and then we'll bring it into Father. Felipe, take it away. Thanks, Thomas. Hey guys, my name is Felipe. Let's see what kind of 3D model that we can make today using this concept art. So, after we had our first attempt at the original concept art, we noticed that the elements, especially the ones in front of the gun, needed to change to create a more readable silhouette. We went back to the drawing board, changed some of the scaling and details, we took note of what seems to work better for both 2D and 3D, and also taking into account a first-person perspective. This shows that sometimes what might look great in 2D and on the side view may not translate well for this type of camera. Uh, meow? Another very important thing to keep in mind is that the look of your weapons is absolutely crucial. It's something that the player will be seeing throughout the majority of the game, and it does take a good chunk of screen space. Focus your attention and details on what the player will see from up close and make sure to make it visually interesting and impactful.
if you're going to make a set of 3D models, create rules for your own modeling. Cylinders, for example, should have this many sides. Bevels shouldn't have more than two increments. Smaller details can be simplified to this extent. Textures should have this amount of visual fidelity versus a stylized look. Make sure that this is always consistent on all your models, so it will look like they're being made by the same person. Alright guys, that is the 3D chain gun in father if this was interesting oh. to you be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this and leave a comment below of more content you might want to see or what you thought about this video i'll talk to you guys later cheers